Hey guys, it's Jason with ExtremeMeasuresCreative.com and probably like a lot of you, I'm using WordPress for most of my clients these days. And with a CMS like WordPress, along comes a lot of responsibility, especially if you're working with clients and it's not just your you know, fun personal website. Something you've got to do on a pretty regular basis is back up your database and your files. Uh, so many things can go wrong, plugins can make your site blow up. Uh, bad WordPress installations can make your site blow up, something going on with the host. There's so many things that can go wrong. You've got to have a database and file backup on a regular basis. Something I like to use is called Backup WordPress. It's a plugin that's available. It's out there on the market. It's easy to find. Uh, it's all one word though, Backup WordPress. Uh, so I've been using it a lot lately with most of my clients and it, it's simple and it works. So far, I haven't found any issue with it. So I'm going to take you through a quick tutorial of how I use Backup WordPress. Here we go. Okay, so we're starting off in the plugins tab here in the back end of WordPress. And I'm gonna obviously go and click add new on plugins. And as I said before, and you see that I've searched it before, it's all one word, backup WordPress. Click search, wait for it to come back. There it is, install now, click there. and let it install, it may take a few minutes. It's a small plugin, so it doesn't take too long. We'll go ahead and activate that. And this is on one of my smaller sites that I just kind of play around with, um, but hopefully soon I'll be able to announce it to you guys. Um, okay, so now it's gonna show up in your plugins listings here. You've got the deactivate, edit, and backups. Now you can click backups here and immediately go to it, but I want to also show you that it shows up in your tools menu. You can go to backups on your tools menu. So if you're not in your plugins menu at the time, you can get to it through tools. Now here's what it looks like, very simple. All right, it says backup my two megabyte database daily or whatever. Okay, so if you notice up here, there are several links. There's add schedule, complete weekly, and database daily. Now, one of the benefits of this is that you can not only do just a database, but you can do the files. So the first thing I do is add a schedule because I'm actually going to get rid of everything else. Backup, both database and files. Now you can do files only or database only if you choose, but I like both database and files. I also like manual only. You can set these with certain times, once hourly, twice daily, once daily, once weekly, once fortnightly, which I don't even know what that is, and once monthly, fortnightly. This must be written by some British folks. Uh, and the number of backups to store on the server. I don't need that many. I just need to be able to get back to it if I've blown up. So I set this to two, you can set it to three, you can set it to however many you like. And the email address that you want your uh, information to go to, it'll send you an email and say, hey, we've just backed it up, yada, yada. And update, bam, okay? And what that does, now I have a complete manually section along with these other links in here. I have database, complete weekly, and complete manually. First thing I do on the complete manually that I just created, I do a run now. And that actually takes a while. So we will probably fast forward this. I may cut the video here as we wait for this to back up. If your database is a lot Larger, like I said, this is one of my little play sites. There's not a whole lot of information on it, so it may not take very long. But if you have a massive site to back up, uh, yeah, see it finished. You may be waiting a while. Now, you, the beauty about this database has been backed up. It's only 22 megabytes. Like I said, it's one of my so smaller sites. You can download that, or you can delete it if you want to do another backup. If you've changed something and you want to back up. Now, now I have. If you see here, it'll say one. I have one database backup completed manually. That's all that I do. That's how I use backup WordPress. Database daily, I will go in. You've got several options here. I delete database daily. So that goes away. Okay, so you'll see the links up here change. Complete weekly, I'll click on that. And I delete that one because I'm not going to do a weekly. I'm, I'm pretty regular getting in on my sites and, and doing what maintenance that I need to do. So for me to automate something, I don't need. You may prefer automating. This is just the way that I use it. So you see here, I've got complete manually. I've done one and I can come in here in a couple of days, do another. It will keep two on 
the system at any one time. And that's pretty much how you use Backup WordPress. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. I'm Jason Coleman once again from Extreme Measures Creative. I hope this helps and um, good luck with your WordPress website. We'll see you next time.